I'm Angie with the Vintage Market. I'm Rena with the Vintage Market. I'm Janelle with Grossville Airport. This is one of our smaller shows too. We have much more at our other shows. Yeah, our next big one is uh, the Vintage Market at Blake's Cider Mill. So we'll be up in Armada. The one after that is Lobstoberfest. That's downtown Trenton. About 150 vendors, a big giant lobster buffet, food tent, live bands all day. There's a beer tent, uh, dancing witches, Jurassic Park exper experience. They bring big dinosaurs. It'll be a lot of fun. Do you have the... Um... The bubble machine at this one? Then? The foam party. The foam party? Yeah. The lobster fest. That's yeah. Lobster it's for fest? kids. Okay, There's for a really kids. cute kids foam party. They dance in the foam. It's it's really cute. And we also have the dancing witches. Yeah. At yeah. The lobster fest. yeah. So how did this start? What I mean, where, where does this come from? Oh, we a started, bottle of wine? <laughs> yeah. Literally a bottle of wine sitting on the porch. We started the vintage market 11 years ago. Yeah. After we both refinished furniture and did our own thing separate and we were sitting there one day literally drinking a bottle of wine. Where can said, we sell our stuff at? We need to get more people involved in this. Yeah. And started off in a little park in Trenton and it it went from there. And a lot of our shoppers, they follow us wherever we go. We have a lot of repeat shoppers. They love when we branch out and do other venues. They just really like it. And each event has a theme. So a lot of the um, vendors decorate their booths with the theme. They'll dress up as, with the theme. So today is around the world. So when you go in the booths, you'll see a lot of different countries or little flags, everything, airplanes, all decorating their booths. There's some vendors dressed up as pilots. Like everybody takes it pretty seriously. It's fun. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I dressed the part today. <laughs> and you, you have a witches uh, thing? That's our big one. That's Wicked Pickin' at the Monroe County Fairgrounds. And also we're bringing a little bit of Wicked Pickin' to downtown Trenton this year, which is night out. Which is October. night out. October yeah. 26th, 4 to 9 p.m. Lots of vendors, dancing witches. Uh, we're partnering with the Trenton Cultural Center. They're gonna play Hocus Pocus there and have food trucks. And then the DDA sponsored a trolley. We'll bring shoppers back and forth to both locations. So is there gonna be trick-or-treating at that event? Not then? at that one. That but one's geared towards shopping. women. There's okay. cocktails, strolling cocktails and okay. stuff like that. Right. No, that's great. We but at Wicked Pickin'. Yeah, we do the okay. trick-or-treating at Wicked Pickin'. And yeah. we have about 250 vendors at Wicked Pickin'. Yeah. yeah. It's massive. And a giant food truck rally. It's really fun. So how does this place survive since World War II? <laughs> Honestly, I think bringing Township Hall down to the airport and bringing so much attention and using it for wonderful community events like this really has brought more awareness to the main hangar, which is hangar number one. We have the Island Fest here. Um, during July, we did a History on Wheels, which is like beautiful vintage car show, which we partnered with Yankee Air Museum. They had the Huey, the C-47. We worked with the DOD down at Selfridge. They brought the Chinook down here, so we'll be doing that event again next year. Um, awesome. Yeah, so it'll be fun. Well, and the history that's enclosed in here, too, is just tremendous. If the history in here, I mean, really, you have to walk around and see it, but just the people that have been trained here, George Bush Sr. was here, uh, Rumsfeld was here. Amelia Earhart actually came to see the ZNC2 here oh that gosh. was based out there, um, which was the Zeppelin, the big metal clad ship that was out in the middle of the airfield. So lots of people have been through here, trained here, and then went off to serve for our country, honestly. And so we have a memorial guard here, here next door to represent the people that have trained here for 40 years. It's a massive chunk of land at the end of Grozeal. Uh, how big is it? So we have 640 acres here. Wow. Um, I, we manage about, I, well, I manage about 120, 125 tenants. Um, totally self-sufficient. No taxpayer dollars go into running this airport. So the tenants are the ones who keep this rolling? Correct, yep. That's yep. fantastic. I mean, obviously we get state grant funding, but that's not taxpayer dollar either. So yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's completely self-sufficient. So. We're really proud of it. I have a great Commerce Park Commission, Airport Commission, that has done a fantastic job over the past couple of decades, and they're great to work with. 